Hello everyone, my name is Vlad Catrinescu and welcome to this video where we will talk about some good news for every Microsoft certification taker. Microsoft now offers over 15 free practice tests for Microsoft certification exams. This is actually not a completely new topic. Two months ago, I did a video on the launch of the first one, the SC900, and you all loved it. It was one of the most popular videos on my channel, so thank you for that. However, one of the comments that you uh, all talked about was that, Vlad, this is really amazing, but I wish we had it for more than just one exam, which was the SC900 when I recorded that video. Well, good news, we now have them for 16 exams, actually to be exact at the time of recording this video, but there is a small catch. Not all of them are visible on the exam page, but there is a secret page that shows all of them to you. And of course, I'll share that with you right after the intro. Okay, for those of you that missed my initial video, let's do a quick recap. What's this whole thing about a Microsoft and free practice test? If we take a step back, uh, for the past few years, Microsoft had a partnership with MeasureUp. A MeasureUp is a certification practice exam provider and uh, as you can see on the screenshot on the left side of your screen, under each exam where you would go to schedule it, you would have the measure up practice test. However, they were quite expensive. And even one of the comments on my previous video was like, I don't mind paying for practice tests, but I don't want them to be as expensive as the exam. It makes no sense. So don't get me wrong, measure up had amazing quality exams. Uh, many fellow uh, Microsoft certified trainers that I know worked with MeasureUp to give, uh, to create questions. They had amazing explanations and everything. However, those practice tests were quite expensive and uh, even the $109 version would only give you access for a few months. Then in early 2022, Microsoft started offering their own sample questions. So they were not in a test interface. They were simply a PDF document with 20 questions at the top. And then at the bottom, you had all of the answers uh, for the 20 questions above. This was an amazing start, right? Especially for people that just want to uh, get started uh, they just want to see if, hey, how far am I from uh, being able to take this exam? Did I do 20 out of 20 or am I out of at 5 out of 20 and I need to practice a bit more? But this was really a good start. And then in early 2023, uh, Microsoft launched their first practice assessment uh, when I did the previous video that I talked about earlier, and it was only for the SC900. If we recap, what do we get with Microsoft practice assessments? They are free, first of all. You can take them as many times as you want, and you have 50 randomized questions per assessment, and it's best answer type questions only. So you will not have select the three that apply. You will always have one question, four answer choices, and you have to select the best answer. Also, something that is cool is that uh, for each question, they actually provide you with uh, the reasoning why that is the correct answer, as well as a link to Microsoft Learn, where you can go and see the documentation or see the 
larger explanation about that piece of the exam. Uh, something else I don't have here in the slides, uh, which I'm not able to, of course, vouch for, but the theory as well as that, they will be a lot more up to date because uh, before when it was working with Measure Up, Microsoft would decide to update an exam, then they would have to uh, really work on it, uh, publish the changes, and then Measure Up would start working on it, on the questions. Now, because this is all Microsoft owned, the theory is it should be more up to date with the exam. But uh, that, of course, remains to be seen how well uh, Microsoft handles the updates of those uh, practice tests. Now, what's new? So this is uh, everything that we've already covered in the past video. Uh, what's new? Why am I doing this video today? Today, Microsoft has over 15 practice tests that are available for free. And it's not only a 900, so fundamental levels exams. We even have some associate level exams in there. For example, the AZ-104, the Azure Administrator, or the AZ-204, even the MS-700 managing Microsoft Teams. So it's not only for fundamental level exams, we also have them for associate level exams. That's something that I was honestly not sure Microsoft is going to do. I thought they would uh, really keep it to the fundamentals, but they really took it above my expectations and they have it for associate as well. So I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, something I'm a bit more confused or less excited about is why some of them are not even linked on the exam page. So if we take a look at an example here, uh, the AZ-400, if you look in the screenshot on the left under schedule the exam, you will see it's still linking to the measure up practice test. However, we do have a free Microsoft practice assessment available. Same thing for the MS-700. Uh, it only links to the measure up practice test not to the free one by Microsoft. Now, I don't know why that is. Is it just a miscommunication between teams and uh, they didn't get around to updating it yet? Or maybe it's a previous deal they had with a measure up that they need to uh, keep that exclusively there for an amount of time. I have no idea why, but if you're watching this video, you're lucky. You will know how to find all of them. But I do wish that Microsoft Learn uh, put it on the exam page for uh, everybody, even people that uh, haven't watched this video yet. So how do we actually find that list? Well, there is a dedicated page on Microsoft Learn. Uh, we'll take a look at it in just a few seconds. Uh, and you will also have it inside the description of this video. So don't worry, you won't have to uh, copy it or pause the video. You'll just be able to click on it on the bottom of the video. So uh, let's actually, let me put this on the screen now. So once you go to this page, you will see we have the practice assessments for Microsoft certification. We have the overview of what they do and something that's really interesting here at the top, this assessments provide you with an overview of the style, wording, and difficulty of the questions you're likely to experience on the exam. So that is quite cool. Uh, and you will see all 16 of them. And uh, Microsoft has been pretty good at keeping this specific page up to date. Even if, for example, let me go to the MS 700 page here, and I'm taking the MS 700. I just finished the last course of that uh, path on Pluralsight. So by the way, if you're studying for the MS 700, uh, check out Pluralsight. There's going to be a link in the description as well. Over 20 hours of content so you can study for that exam. But if I scroll down here to the scheduling exam, you will notice we only have the measure up 
practice test. Even here, we have only the exam sandbox and the study guide, no mention at all of the free practice test. But now that you know this a page that we have here, you're able to go on it. We have MS 700 managing Microsoft Teams, and we are able to really do the practice test uh, for free. Again, it's amazing that we have 50 uh, practice questions that we can do for free. No labs, nothing like that, but they do match the difficulty and the wording on the exam. So they are really a good way to test your knowledge against uh, what you will be evaluated on on the exam. So uh, really make sure that you uh, take note of that page because for many exams, it's not there yet on the exam page. So if you take an exam and it doesn't have the practice test linked on the exam page yet, uh, make sure you go to the page in the description or here on the slides uh, to see if it's uh, there yet and maybe not updated or not. Before we finish this video, a bit of talks and conclusion. Uh, again, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but uh, I love the idea that we now have free practice tests. It's a great way to validate your knowledge and also to build confidence before an exam. I'm really happy that Microsoft provides those for free. Again, I loved the quality of stuff on MeasureUp. I have nothing to say for the quality of MeasureUp. They always provided good quality, good variety of questions. I personally know many people that are working on those questions. So they're good quality questions, but I just wish they were not the same price as the exam. And remember, Practice assessments should be the final step in your learning journey. So make sure you have some real life experience. Make sure you study for the exam using either Microsoft Learn or a third party resource such as Pluralsight or maybe in-person training. And at the end, uh, do the practice test. This way you can validate you have all the needed knowledge. This is it for this video, keeping it short and sweet. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you love the practice test that Microsoft is doing. Please let me know in the comments if you've done any of them. Do you think they're good quality? Do you think Microsoft should keep investing in them? And again, make sure you check me out on Pluralsight lots of training for uh, many of those exams that you can use. So you uh, ace your practice test and the real exam. Connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, all of the social media. And if you enjoyed this video and want to keep up to date with the latest uh, Microsoft certification changes, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. So you'll be the first to know even when uh, Microsoft releases cool stuff like this, but hides them on a page instead of putting them on the exam page. If you follow this channel, you'll be able to know this stuff beforehand, uh, which can really make the difference when studying for an exam. So thank you very much again for uh, watching this video.